Okay, thank you. Thanks uh, to the organizers. Thank you, to Cesar, for the invitation. Uh, I will present this paper, which is uh, uh, done with Alexander Cano, uh, Cesar Mantilla, Laura Prada, and Medardo Restrepo. Uh, Cesar and Laura are in the floor, so if you have questions, you can do it uh, to them. Um, and then uh, this, is, this paper is about the trade-off uh, between liquidity and insurance. Uh, uh, and, and what we do is that we apply a uh, lab in the field experiment to Colombian uh, rural workers. So the main objective of the, of the paper is to understand uh, uh, this trade-off uh, in the context of, of this population. Uh, and what we do is to um, um, propose this experiment which they basically have to choose between uh, receiving a payment uh, um, in cash or in a voucher. So uh, I will explain that in, in a moment. Uh, given the limit of time that I have, around eight minutes, I, I will skip all the slides related to regressions, outputs, uh, and I will basically present the, the intuition part of the paper. So um, regarding the motivation, you know, Colombia is the OECD country uh, with the highest self-employment rate, which are half of employment, roughly speaking, is, uh, uh, is uh, an informal employment. Uh, and this um, somehow uh, resembles the, uh, you know, the dual labor market structure in which there is a primary uh, labor market, say formal labor market, uh, which uh, basically pays higher salaries and higher returns to education. Uh, and then there is another uh, sector, say the informal one, uh, which uh, is characterized by the absence of uh, non-wage benefits. There, are no, there is no job security or at least it's scarce stability and safety nets uh, are, say, uh, scarcer. Um, on the other hand, uh, rural workers are more exposed to jobs and somehow they are uh, uh, the labor markets that they face are more informal, so, no? And the numbers in the Colombian context say that uh, in the rural markets, uh, self, the self-employment rate uh, is as high as uh, 80%. So it's a lot. Um, on the other hand, uh, these people have access to limited constrained financial services, uh, which are usually uh, used to cover basic needs. Uh, and uh, there is also evidence showing that uh, uh, the effects of shocks uh, on health and education are more persistent. Um, so taking everything together is hard to formalize rural workers and that's why it's important to understand well this trade-off. Uh, so why uh, formalizing rural labor rural labor, sorry, it's hard, uh, well, they both, uh, users and providers, may have um, distorted perception of non-wage benefits. Uh, you know, uh, universal health coverage may cause uh, moral hazard issues. Uh, also, people that live in uh, rural areas uh, are subject to higher transportation or transaction costs. Uh, and on the other hand, they are exposed to other risks, different from risks related to health, and most important, uh, risks related to production, right? Uh, uh, so um, uh, production in the rural areas is, is riskier, and probably that risk is more important, more salient than uh, health uh, risks. Um, on top of that, it's harder to enforce any agreement that we can uh, uh, think of or we can somehow uh, implement through a, a low change. Um, uh, you know, uh, Colombia is also characterized, and that's part of the name of this conference, by this strong inequality. Uh, and that inequality is even stronger in the rural areas. No? When you compare workers with uh, land tenants, that the, the inequality is, is, is very, very large. Uh, and then uh, if we think of um, the, the system that we have um, right now in Colombia, uh, uh, the, this system uh, 
makes the or would make the the land tenants to pay. And the, the question then is how how we would, can we convince these land tenants to pay for the social security of their workers, right? Um, uh, even if uh, there is a change in the law such that they have to pay, then how you can uh, monitor these contracts between the land tenants and the, and the workers. So, so, so in principle, uh, any contract with a stronger element associated to the social security for the workers is harder to implement in, in the rural area. <coughs> then what this means is that we need rural labor contracts that on one hand are attractive to workers, on the other hand, they, that they are not blocked by the tenants, and besides that, uh, that they go beyond health and, and pension coverage. Uh, this paper is related uh, with point one. So, so, so we, in, in dealing with this, you know, general question on how to make more formal uh, uh, labor markets in the rural context, we started uh, by analyzing what happened to workers. Um, so, uh, what is our uh, lab in the field experiment about? Um, the, question, the question there is about how um, a voucher payment is attractive to um, workers in, ex in exchange for better insurance, and somehow we are inspired by the European voucher system with schemes that are uh, uh, subsidize domestic services, you know, what there is a, a, a known as the, the black market. Uh, they have this voucher system to uh, make uh, these um, domestic employees uh, be somehow contribute to the, to the social security system. Um, so what we do is that we, in the, in the, in the lab, we make um, um, subjects to perform uh, um, labor activity, Some, somehow give the idea to the, to the, to the people that they, they are, are gonna be paid by, by, by you know, their work. So what we do is that they have to separate beans from white and dark beans. Uh, and then basically they have to, to choose uh, between either be paid by cash, which is, uh, 30,000 Colombian pesos, roughly speaking, a daily minimum wage. Uh, and they have to, oh, they receive the uh, comparison with different vouchers uh, that uh, increase or decrease in their value, the expected value, from 25 to 34,000 uh, Colombian pesos. Um, and then they are, there is uh, an income shock which is our, you know, our, our um, measure of risk, in which they, they have a chance to lose uh, 20,000 pesos. Uh, and then uh, this happens when they receive the cash. Uh, but if they, okay, perfect. Um, if they uh, receive the voucher, then that happens in, uh, uh, with 10% of probabilities, okay? Uh, we did that, this with uh, rural workers in the, in the department of Quindío, which is uh, in the middle of the coffee region in, in Colombia. Uh, so what they receive is, is this kind of table. Uh, as I said before, uh, we randomized whether they started by facing, you know, from the lowest uh, voucher to the highest voucher or the other way around, but basically they have to choose right, whether to receive the payment in cash or voucher. Uh, this is the relationship uh, in terms of expected values of the voucher and cash, so we start with, so some of the, of the vouchers are, uh, have an expected value uh, is smaller than the cash, and then uh, others that pay more. Uh, we also randomize uh, whether the show-up fee is paid in cash or voucher, okay? Um, and uh, we do that, this just uh, to test whether there is a transaction cost effect uh, that makes people to not take the voucher um, uh, instead of the cash. Uh, okay, so these are some photos. 
uh, we implemented this in all the municipalities in Quindío. Uh, this is, sorry, this is the order uh, of the events within the lab. Uh, they first, of, co of course, they, they, they have to sign an informed consent. They first make the, the, the decisions in, 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 in all the comparison between the cash and, and all the vouchers. Then they have to separate the beans, uh, and then we draw one of the decisions to pay. Uh, and depending on the, on the decision, they, they receive a voucher or the cash. And then we implemented the final questionnaire, and probably th this is the most important message from this experiment, which is that uh, um, the show up fee, the, uh, I, I told you they, they either receive in cash or in voucher, and there are no differences there. So, at least for these people, the, this dimension of tra transaction cost is not important. Maybe because they are already, you know, in the in the in the in the urban part of the municipality, so they somehow already uh, sunk the cost to arrive to 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 the market. Uh, and then uh, uh, the, uh, here, uh, I, I was, what I show you is uh, the different decisions related to um, uh, whether they receive the voucher in ascending way or a descending way. So in the horizontal axis, I have um, the different schemes of the voucher, and this is the cumulative probability. So, and, and we find that there is a there is a, a, a difference between uh, uh, receiving the vouchers in a descending or a, an ascending way. And I think this gives also an important point related to uh, policy implementation uh, regarding this, this topic. Uh, most important, we also uh, did the same experiment to students in Armenia, in Quindío. Uh, and we find that in both groups, when uh, they are exposed to the voucher, they, the, the rural workers take the vouchers from 32% to 56%. This is the number for the uh, more generous voucher. Uh, and for the students, uh, these numbers are, are uh, uh, smaller. No? They are saying that students are somehow value more the liquidity. Uh, but also this says uh, how hard is to implement a social security uh, um, uh, by vouchers. Uh, because even if this payment, which is the largest one, uh, the only half of people takes that. No? Even if uh, in expected value they receive more, uh, uh, they don't take the, the, the voucher as often as we, as we thought. Uh, so just, the, I think, uh, the, I already mentioned this. So just to sum up, we introduce a very simple insurance scheme. Uh, this scheme seems to be uh, insufficient in the sense that they are not voluntarily um, uh, prone to uh, take this, this voucher. Only with this uh, more general voucher, half of people uh, is, is uh, willing to, to take it. Um, the descending order is important because this means that probably if we think in a, in a policy in this direction, uh, we can implement first a policy, very, a very generous policy, and then uh, with time we can make it uh, less generous. Um, and, and I think the, this, is, this is the main message. Thank you. Thank you all.